गुड मॉर्निंग सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द लेसन फिजियोलॉजी एंड स्पोर्ट्स एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द स्पोर्ट्स इंजरीज एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द skin injuries and muscle injuries which are also known as soft tissue injuries soft tissue injuries are skin injuries and muscle injuries skin injuries are for the abrasion contusion laceration laceration and incision and muscle injuries are the two muscle injuries these are sprain and strain so this we have discussed in previous lesson today we will discuss about the bone and joint injuries so just listen carefully because this very interesting information i will tell you about the bone and joint injuries very specific information i will tell you here the musculoskeletal system comprises over half the body mass musculoskeletal means the body is has muscles and bones the bones makes the framework of the body and the muscles helps to make the movement so musculoskeletal system the half of the body mass is the musculoskeletal system and their joining structure muscles to and bone so this comprises over half the body mass the most common musculoskeletal dysfunction are joint stiffness joint swelling joint pains bone being non yielding structure are damaged when excessive force is applied directly or indirectly what are the major problem with the musculoskeletal system that is these are joint stiffness joint swelling joint pains and sometime bones being non yielding structure are damaged when excessive force is applied directly or indirectly that is bone fracture so bone injuries are there bone injuries mostly fracture that we have discussed in previous slide bone injuries mostly the fracture fracture are various type so they are green stick fracture comminuted fracture impacted fracture transverse fracture oblique fracture and stress fracture and whereas joint injuries are dislocation of lower jaw because joint injuries mostly there are dislocation dislocation means that is the joints are dislocated from their original place and fractures when bone fracture is there fracture means the bone is broken down continuity of bone is broken that is known as the bone fracture dislocation of the joint only dislocation play takes place only at the site of the joints so dislocation of lower jaw 
dislocation of shoulder joint dislocation of hip joints so joint the injury is dislocation and bones the injury sports injury is fracture we are talking about the sports injuries so the fracture is bone injury and joint injury is dislocation this we must remember then we will discuss all in detail what is fracture fracture is a fracture is a break in the continuity of the bone continuity of the bone we can understand the bone is has a smooth surface and the bone is hard and rigid but from outside it is very smooth and uh, surface is very continuous so continuity of the bone is broken or a separation of bone into two or more parts the bone is separated into two or more part more part means bone is broken into two or more parts a fracture is a break in the continuity of bone or a separation of a bone into two or more parts a great amount of soft tissue damage may accompany this type of injury this we must know because that soft tissue injury we have studied separately these are the hard tissue injuries but in case of the bone injury a great amount of soft tissue damage may accompany this type of injury because soft tissues cover bone are inside they are not superficial so they are covered with the layer of muscles then they are covered with the layer of skin so that's why the bones are not superficial so whenever there is the bone damage and bone injury so it slightly or whatever the amount but there may be the loss the damage to the soft tissues also sometimes the soft tissues are highly injured with the bone injury sometimes slightly the soft tissues are injured but definitely the soft tissue injury will be there they are company with the the bone injury the fracture the type of fracture fracture we understand broken down of the bone or broken down of the continuity of the bone because sometime bone is bone is not broken it is not visible but the continuity is broken so type of fracture then we can understand the fractures how the continuity is broken and how the bone is broken into two or many part so type of fracture fractures are classified as open and closed open fracture and closed fracture an open fracture is one in which there is a break in the skin that is contiguous with the fracture that i was just discussing in the previous slide bone is covered with the skin layer of skin and a group of muscles may be there so there is a break in the skin that is contiguous with the fracture the bone is either protruding from the bone or exposed 
through a channel which can be produced by an arrow, javelin, bullet or other ways. This kind of fracture is always caused by the sharp edge object like arrow, javelin, bullet. These are penetrating through the skin and damaging the bone. Then there will be one fracture. First what they are doing? They are damaging the soft tissues, the skin and associated muscles. And then the bone get fractured. So this is open fracture because they will make one from outside there will be one and then along with the one there is the fracture is also so the difficulty is there that in case of bone fracture we have plaster therapy that to fix the joint but in case of this one we have to cure the wand also we can we cannot close the wand there may be infection. So, in this case, in the plaster, the same wand is created to keep the wand open. So, that we will discuss afterward. A closed fracture, this is about open fracture, a closed fracture is not complicated by a break in the skin but there is usually soft tissue damage beneath the intact skin soft tissue are damaged there but slightly the associated joining structure and certain muscles may be damaged in closed fracture but there is nothing from outside outside it is continuity of skin is irregular there is nothing damaged from outside but internally there is damage of certain muscles group muscle muscles and the layer of the internal layer of the skin maybe but closed fracture it is not that there is not any kind of open wound from outside so this is clear now open fracture and closed fracture open fracture there is one from outside along with the bone fracture and in case of the growth fracture there is there, there is nothing from outside no one from outside but internally the bone is fractured so we will see the type of fractures again because we are studying the fracture in detail so bone injuries are fracture green stick fracture comminuted fracture impacted fracture transverse fracture oblique fracture stress fracture and more these are very common that's why we are discussing these so I will show you certain pictures of these fractures then slightly we can understand then we will go through each fracture in detail first is transverse fracture thus we can see this fracture the bone is fractured from the middle that is middle means that is di the 90 degree angle straight away the bone is getting fractured dividing into parts stress fracture then we can see this very small structure there is a hairline fracture some it is also known as the hairline fracture the continuity is broken but the bone is not divided into the parts oblique fracture this fracture is always caused in diagonally so diagonal fracture that's why this is known as the oblique fracture crystic fracture in this fracture the bone is slightly bent we can see in the picture the fourth one bone is slightly bent and this fracture is most common among the children a small age 
because their bones are not so much rigid and hard they are delicate so that's why the bone is bending due to any pressure and sometimes the cracks are also can be seen like we can see the comminuted fracture the bone is fractured in so many pieces so we will detail and these so many pieces some of they are in intact with the impacted to the another part and they are fixed so these fractures we are discussing in detail in the next slide first we are discussing about the green stick fracture green stick fracture an incomplete fracture in which a bone bend and cracks that i have i was telling you green stick fracture in an incomplete fracture in which a bone bends or cracks this type of fracture usually occurs in children because their bones are soft and flexible so green stick fracture is clear the picture we can see in the green stick fracture the fracture the bone is bended only bended so we'll go to the next pack next type of fracture that is the comminuted fracture a fracture when was the bone cracked into many parts a fracture in which the bone cracked into the many parts example like involvement of hand to working for a cutter the photo cutter that or any machinery we can understand by the example in any machinery the machine is running and the hand or any bony area of the body is penetrated into it and then there is the fracture so bone this type of fracture the bone is cracked into many parts the bone is broken into many parts the comminuted fracture clear comminuted fracture is i think clear the bone is fracture from many parts next is impacted fracture in this type of fracture the edge of broken bone impact into another one and sets there we can see in the picture also means the broken bone is broken and the broken part of the bone is impacted to the another one and sets there because the setting of the bone that it is ossification ossification means bone the repair itself like in case of we can see in the fracture doctor is only applying the plaster of paris plaster from outside to fix the joint but he is not applying any medicine the bone repair itself the fixing is there but bone get repair itself so due to this whenever the any piece of bone broken bone broken piece is impacted to the another one bone or another place from where it is broken it is impacted there so it sets there so it makes another difficulties for the person but in case of this the fracture bone is fractured and the piece of fracture bone is impacted into the another one and sets there 
So, impacted fracture is I think clear. A fracture, transverse fracture, another one. Transverse fracture, a fracture at a right angle to a bone. A fracture, a right angle to the bone. So, in which we can see the bone is divided in two parts. So, a fracture at a right angle to the bones axis or straight break right across to the bone. A fracture at a right angle to the bone axis or a straight break right across a bone. We can see bone is just divided into two parts. Transverse fracture is very clear. Then we are coming to the another fracture that is the oblique fracture. That I was discussed in previous earlier that it is diagonally. A fracture in which bone breaks diagonally, it occurs mostly on long bones, the long bones like humerus, femur. In this fracture, when a force is applied diagonally to a bone. So, now we can understand a fracture in which bone breaks diagonally that in picture we can see diagonally bone is broken down. It occurs mostly in long bones, humerus or femur or tibia fibula also. The longest bone is femur that we must know. Femur is the longest bone of the body. In this picture, when a force is applied diagonally to a bone, means the force is also applied diagonally. The causes of the bone fracture, then I will tell you afterwards. Because the bone is fractured when there is the severe pressure or violent hit at the site of the bone. Next fracture, we will discuss about the stress fracture. It is also known as a hairline fracture. It is a crack in bone due to high impact physical activity during fatigue. Stress fracture is you know hairline fracture. Hairline fracture means it is highly very uh, you know rarely visible. We cannot see the fracture in the, to the bone and the bone get fracture, continuity of the bone is broken, very small hairline structure is visible over the bone in the x-ray. But definitely the bone is not broken, but there is small hairline crack can be seen. What? Why this happened? This is due to a high impact physical activity during fatigue, mean tiredness. While during tiredness we are performing any high impact, high intensity activity, physical activity, then th in this case the bone is unable to bear the pressure of the activity and the bone get fracture with the stress. So, that is the stress fracture, hairline fracture. Very commonly it is known as the hairline fracture because there is the hairline structure is over the bone. So, this is all about the bone fracture. So, especially in bone fracture then I want to tell you either there is the severe or violent hit by any object over the at the site of the bone, main cause, hit by any, violent hit by any object. Decide about the type of the object, if it is sharp edge object, so the, this type of, it can cause the open 
fracture along with the skin injury but if there are the round shaped surface so they can cause another type of um, if uh, the bone fracture and if there are like the hairline fracture in case i was telling you due to the high level of activity there is nothing hit is there but due to the pressure of the intensity of the activity that's why the person is suffering with the hairline fracture because the person is getting tired and there is the pressure of the activity the intensity of activity is higher the person is suffering with the hairline fracture so it depends about the higher pressure and violent hit and intensity of activity which can cause the fracture sometimes the person bones are weaker so they fall and due to their body weight comes over the particular bone and the bone broken person gets fracture so fracture can be caused by these way these are the causes of the bone fracture especially we must know the bones are the rigid structure hard structure and they support the body the body is standing and the body is conducting various movement due to the bones because bone is the framework of the body so when there is the bone fracture so it means something is the which is like violent hit violent pressure at the site of the bone which caused the fracture we will move to the dislocation joint injury joint injuries are dislocation so dislocation or the injury an injury where one or more bones are completely displaced at the by name we can understand dislocation dislocation means the bone is moving from its original location to so dislocated dislocations are an injury where one or more bones are completely displaced they can cause fracture and damage to ligament tendons blood vessel and nerves anything they can damage because they are dislocating from their place so they are hard structure so they can damage any organ any ligament tendon blood vessels and nerves they are generally more obvious than fracture because of deformities lump ridge or depression because in case of fracture we cannot see any only swelling and the rest of things we can see but in dislocation the when the bone is dislocated from its place so we can see it these are visible they cause deformities deformities we have discussed in previous uh, uh, chapter the postural deformities we have discussed about the deformities what are deformities so they can cause the deformities so that's why they are visible joint at the shoulder thumb finger and jaw dislocated more easily than other because there is a wide range of movement possible at these joints and the bone ligaments and muscles do not provide a lot of protection to these joints because these are the joints where they are they have the wide range of movement that's why if the joint is moving all around so it means the joint does not have muscular support from these sides because that's why they are moving that side means they are not covered completely by the these areas like the knee joint is there it can bend only in one direction so that's why the, it is supported with the muscles and tendons and ligament from upper side so it is, it is highly so that's why it cannot move upwards so the protection to the one side is only there it may be impossible to distinguish a dislocation from a fracture so treat it as a fracture dislocation is always treated as a fracture because the treatment is near about same
So some of the pictures I will show you the dislocation. One of this one we can see shoulder joint, normal shoulder joint, and second one we can see how the joint is dislocated, the bone is dislocated. The ball and socket joint it is known, it is called the ball and socket joint, ball and socket joint. So the displacement we can see of the bone, this is a dislocation. Then we will see sign and symptoms of the dislocation. A dislocated joint may be accompanied by numbness, tingling at the joint or beyond it. Intensely painful, especially if you try to use the joint or put weight on it. Even it cannot bear the body weight. Limited in movement. Swollen or bruises. Visibly out of place and discolored. Discoloration of the skin can be seen because this is moving from its place so it can cause bruises from inside and outside of the skin. So these are the sign and symptoms of the dislocation. Treatment of dislocation we will discuss. The first aid therapy for dislocation two type of therapies we will discuss here one is rest therapy another is price therapy so rest therapy one left side this, this rest therapy is here r for rest to injured part e for elevate if possible sometime dislocation we should not elevate these both are used for the bone and dislocation so in case of joint injury the dislocation is sometimes not possible because of the joint displaced. If it is not possible, so we should not elevate. Elevation is only done to reduce the internal bleeding. In the laying position of the patient, the victim, we are elevating the affected area that the blood flow will be reduced towards the side, elevating the affected area above the level of the heart in the laying position of the victim. That is elevated if possible then it is okay otherwise we should not elevate it. In case of joint injury and dislocation the same therapies are used. So support the part, support we should give because sometimes due to the body weight the dislocation may become more severe we should give support to the affected area tight T for tie or support tight tightness sometimes in case of small joints we have to tightly hold the joint that otherwise the joint the displacement may be more this is rest therapy R for rest, E for elevation, S for support, T for tight. Press therapy is the right side. This is the P for protection, R for rest, I for ice, C for compression, E for elevation, if feel comfort. In case of dislocation, the elevation is only needed when the person feels comforts. In case of bone injury, we can give the elevation therapy. So this is all about the today's uh, video and today's lesson. We will come with the next lesson in the next lesson, next lesson in the next video.